A little update on what we're doing on the vacuum problem on the Harvest Right freezer. Uh, I went through, I uh, did what I could do, and I called Harvest Right, and he sent me a link to video, and I watched that. I've got all that done. I also said I might need to degas it. Um, not exactly how it builds up, but it builds up gases and stuff. So what he said to do was turn the heat on for 12 hours. And then after that, actually, it went 14 hours. I turned on for about 6 o'clock last night. And, and and I turned on the vacuum about 8 o'clock this morning. And he said, run the vacuum for another 12 hours. And then that should help the gases. And then check the oil to make sure it's not foamy or, or yucky looking. Um, the uh, oil looks pretty good. It's, the, it's not completely clear like it is when it's brand new. But with the oil that's in there is... So maybe about a quarter or a third of it is new oil and I put some of the newest oil because I got two containers of oil. Uh, the other one is, is going to get thrown out. It's, it's had its, its life taken out of it. So uh, we're going to order in some more oil. But that's what we're doing and we'll come back once uh, we've gone through uh, about 12 hours. We're only about 45 minutes into it right now. And our millitores are down to 5. Well, it's still dropping to 584 right now. So... We'll see where it goes after the 12 hours. We'll check that tonight, about 6 or 8 o'clock, probably about 8 o'clock tonight or so. We'll, we'll check it and see what it looks like then. I'm going to do a little bit update. It's been about 6 hours, and uh, we've had the heat and the vacuum on. We had about 8 hours, or about 14 hours with just heat, and now another 6 hours with the vacuum on, and we're down to... Uh, 425 on the millitors so that's getting a little bit lower than it was just by the vacuum only so maybe it's it's that's going to solve the problem we'll uh continue on and i'll we'll see how that goes once it gets all done went through and did the uh, uh off gassing procedure to run 14 hours on heat and then 14 hours heat and vacuum and it got down a little under 300 so this is the next day so I turn on just the vacuum to see if it's gonna seal up we've been running about nine minutes here almost 10 we're down to 600 and well it's dropping down 618 and we'll let that go and then we'll turn the pump off and see if it holds the next step is to change the oil put some fresh oil in and we have that on the way in so if this doesn't fix it we'll try the oil when it gets here and then see what happens then all right, why we have the back off, this is where you'll have the epoxy leak sometimes, right up in here. And I went through the test with that and I said, spray carburetor cleaner on it while it's under vacuum. If the vacuum increases, then there's a problem with the uh, silicone seal and then there is a little process to go through. You, you, you basically put tape around here, make a little dam and then fill it with epoxy. Uh, but that wasn't the problem so I didn't have to worry about that uh, so there's leaks somewhere else so we'll continue on with some other tests um, I contacted Harvest Right and they gave me a couple other things to try so we'll take a look at that and see what that does alright we're gonna do a, a vacuum test on this the, a seal over here to make sure this isn't leaking that's one of the tests I want to do there's an epoxy seal in here so we'll put it under vacuum, and then I say to spray the carburetor cleaner on it. And if the uh, pressure increases, then we know we have a leak, and then we'll have to fix this. But this doesn't look like it's an epoxy seal. This more looks like it's a Teflon tape seal. But we'll have to check with them if that's if that's leaking. We'll we'll find that out here in a few minutes. One of the culprits could be this valve here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some water in a container and we're going to watch and see if it sucks up any because if it's leaking at the valve it's going to start sucking up some of the water and I don't see any uh, anything coming up cat decides want to see what we're doing I don't see anything I didn't feel anything on the end of it when I put my finger over the end of it and that just confirms that our source of our leak is not this, this valve. So we'll continue on. We'll have a little bit more 
uh, testing to do. Once we get a, a, volume, a vacuum down here, we've got a little bit more to go. We're not quite there yet. We're, we're almost down there. I want to get down below 500, and so I got some good vacuum in there, and then we'll we'll do some testing. One of the things we, one of the things we're going to do is we're going to drain the oil off the pump, and see it's draining into a filter, and that's that's pretty dark. Uh, it comes out it's supposed to be clear, uh, so that that could be one of the problems. Uh, in the notes, they said that, so I'm going to hand drain it in into this filter. It looks like one of those Brita water filters, but it's not. It's, it's actually designed for uh, the harvest right to come with the machine. But we have a couple of different um, oils. We had both of these. This one here I've used um, probably about uh, uh, 20, 23, 24 times. This one I've used a few more times. Uh, this here, the rest of this bottle is, it, it's... It's about right here. This is all new oil that I've never used. I may have to get some more oil uh, to try just replacing it and seeing what that does. Because we have put a lot of lot of uh, batches through here. I think the uh, um, thing is just about done draining. And then what you're supposed to do is tilt the pump so you get all, all of it out. So I'm going to finish up draining the oil and we'll go from there.